I'm Debbie Peverell, and you're listening to the weekly tip from Payless Financial Training Group. Today I'm talking about bear trusts, and I have good news. Canada Revenue Agency has announced now, in the month of November, that they don't want us to file the T3s for bear trusts this year. You may recall that last year they made a similar announcement that we didn't have to file them, but they made that announcement in the afternoon of the last business day before the returns were actually due. So a lot of people did file a T3 for a bear trust last year. You may remember what, that a bear trust comes about in a number of ways, but the idea is that you have someone who has legal ownership but doesn't have beneficial ownership. So classic examples, a parent who has their name on a kid's deed for the house so that the kid could get financing or a um, daughter who has her name on her mother's bank account in case something happens so that she can get access to the money. So there's a couple of cases, very common cases, where bear trusts are set up um, in order to do that. So now you don't have to worry about filing for the 2024 year, except that CRA has said no one has to file unless CRA asks them to. And since a lot of us did file last year and there is a trust number, Sometimes when you know CRA gets a hold of a number, they expect to see a return filed every year. So we may still be hearing from CRA. 